yeah. Um, and they, so this one is double set. It's, um, oh, it's, it's 200, sorry. Um, so they go from, so there's the 150, which is a small, smaller version than this. Then there goes the 200, which is a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. The, um, the springs are a little bit more tense. And then there's the 250s, which are bigger than these, and therefore catching possums and, and bigger animals like that. Um, so this this one is double sided. It's a uh, 200. Um, so these will catch things like mustelid. So a mustelid is a stoat and a ferret. Stoat and ferret. Um, they also catch rats and yeah, mouse is pretty much anything that will run in. So these will run in um, yeah from this direction. They'll come in and. I'll just set this one here just to show you guys. These are really, yeah, they're really hard, they're really tense to, um, to set. It's a really good day for people to set these at a time. Um, and when we set them, we'll, we always put the bait down first, so we use a fresh egg. Um, fresh eggs are best. Mm -hmm. Somehow, stoats and possums and weasels and stuff like that, they know the difference between a fresh <laughs> egg and yeah, an old, five day old egg. Um, yeah, so when we set them, Excuse me. we aren't going to put our hands anywhere near these cats because they're really, they'll take your fingers off. So it's really important that um, yeah, we'll be careful with these. So I'll pull this all the way back. So when the, when the rat runs in, it'll run in and it'll stand on that, which will close this, and it'll squash it completely. Oh, the it, yeah. And it's completely humane. So they are... Uh, Instant. Wiped out instantly. They, um, yeah. they don't feel anything, guys. <laughs> Tamariki ma. It, it's them, all over really quick. They don't feel a thing. Yeah, so it's all over just like that. Because um, we're them, and they they don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, these things also catch uh, things like hedgehogs um, and stuff like that, depending on what kind of bait you use as well. Um, this one's still got a little bit of remnant of um, rabbit meat on it, um, which is some of the stuff that we use when we go out trapping. Um, it's in a packet, by the way, it's not like <laughs> you cut not it up. actual rabbit. You cut though. it up beforehand. Um, so yeah, they're really touchy. Yeah. And just like that, it's set. Uh, and they're very oh. sensitive. Smart. And loud. <laughs> yeah. And, and very loud. They want to smell human, aren't they? Sorry? They want to smell your, your, your scent of no, your fingers on it. No, they don't. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're just so hungry, yeah. yeah. Especially at this time of the year, um, where there's not a lot of um, much yeah, fruit on the trees and stuff like that, they'll go for anything. Um, this year, um, they've been talking about um, having masts that are going off. Um, a, mast is, a mast year is when trees produce a heap load of fruit more than they would usually do and it usually happens between five to seven years um so it's quite yeah and during that time um we just get oh, rampant amounts of stoats and rats and lizards and stuff like that um stoats are really bad they may look cute and fluffy and you know <laughs> but they're, um, they're actually really horrible they um the males they impregnate um, the females in the den as, as soon as they're born. Um, so they'll go and impregnate them after a day or so old. Um, and after that, yeah, they'll just run around and keep doing that. They'll run around and find food. They can travel for up to two kilometers at a time and they retrace their steps. Um, they, use, they mainly use ridge lines. So they use one track and that one track only. Um, a lot of people tend to say that they don't eat animals, but they're, they're actually quite picky. Um, they prefer to eat birds' brains, so they'll go into the nest and they'll just eat the brain of the babies. Um, same with possums, people tend to believe that they don't, but they do. Um, <coughs> if you just have a look at the presentation we got back at the Marae, yeah. So, I set this off. Um, and then we'll leave it set off. I'll take it into the bush. Um, yeah, leave the egg in there. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see if we've got anything.
um, Mahi saw a stoke run across the road the other day and I wasn't close enough to, to run it over. <laughs> so it's going, it's going in that direction so it's, yeah, this track will be around here somewhere. Um, we've also got some tracking devices, um, ink pad print, footprints and stuff so we can see what's running in and out of our ngahiri. Um, it's always good to monitor what's coming in and going out and that way you know what kind of, what kind of chat you want to utilise in, in, in your ngahiri even at home. Um, so this is something that we want to incorporate in our, in our mission. <laughs> uh, what, what numbers of ferrets and stoats have you caught in Taipei? No. They haven't started. They so haven't started. I've seen my first, our first stoats on Tinkerangi last week. That's the first date I've seen on this mona. We've had um, possums growl at us. Yep. <laughs> Very much. Yeah. Uh, we're, yeah, we've, We've got a pet rabbit up the top there that we need to get rid of. Um, and three <laughs> sheep. We got. Oh yeah, we had some That's sheep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some wandering mice, untagged, ready for the freezer. Um, so. <laughs> That's actually how we found um, traps up here. Was we followed the sheep and then we come across a trap that had a possum in it. Wow. So we called our um. A, a boss that space with us at um fire security and he. And he got his animal controllers, his animal people to come in and dispatch of it humanely. <laughs> 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 and the state has at least six at a time when they breed. So yeah, they breed like crazy. They breed like crazy. Okay. for these yeah. guys as well so we get some prints and stuff hopefully overnight. Um yeah, how oh, done so while it was in the pocket. Um, pocket. These you can get these from um, the Enviro Center, they're only 60 cents. Um they they've got peanut butter and cinnamon in them and they're two tags. So you kind of just nail them to the tree and the possum or a rat and a stoke will come along and bite it. And then we got some um stuff back at the marae that we'll be able to identify what kind of bike that we've got mm. what kind of truck we can utilise um, so yeah all types of monitoring, like you could do this at home with a piece of cardboard, just put some peanut butter and cinnamon on it um, possums love cinnamon, I don't know why they're just really attracted to it um, you're a possum yeah. you're not. 